changes affected Hurricane Helene, made it more destructive in multiple ways through enhancing the rainfall that fell over both the coastal area and much further inland over Western North Carolina. Um, it also made it kind of windier, more intense, and therefore more destructive um, in that sense. Um, but not only that, we found that the conditions in which Helene formed, so the Gulf of Mexico where waters have been unusually warm, all of that has been kind of amplified and made much more likely by climate change as well. The closeness of, of these two storms really symbolises something that could happen in the future and the danger of climate change, which is that you could have multiple events that have been made each more destructive by climate change affecting the same area in quick succession, which is when the impacts start to become kind of really catastrophic. As we go into the future, and our results show this as well, we still have control over what trajectory this goes in as to what risks we face in the future, what costs we pay in the future. Um, and that just hinges on how we change our energy systems and how many more fossil fuels we burn, essentially. It's not done yet. Um, we are worsening every year with respect to the warming that's caused by fossil fuel emissions that year on year are still going up. And so the, the th landscape for threat going forward is one where we can look to these recent headlines as a wake up call for what our climate present is right now and, and try to internalize what that means for our emergency preparedness, our infrastructure resilience planning, and our fossil fuel ramp in particular. But we also have to remember that going forward, additional warming that we know will occur over the next 10 or 20 years um, will even worsen the statistics of hurricanes and we will break new records.